It is a, a disease caused by protein produced by cells that we have in the bone marrow. These cells are the same cells that just help us defending against bacteria and other stuff. They are called immunoglobulins. One small part of immunoglobulin is called light chain because they are small and light. And this light chain, if they have a particular mutation, they can aggregate and deposit in different organs, causing progressive damage. Since the damage is progressive, the timing of diagnosis is critical because uh, the organ dysfunction can be fully recovered if you can diagnose this patient in time. So early diagnosis is really the key for a successful treatment in this patient. Well, the incidence is approximately 10 to 15 new patients per million per year. And uh, um, it is very important that the hematologist, the nephrologist, the cardiologist, because this disease can target mostly the heart and the kidney. So they are aware of the existence of this disease. Hematologists are rather good now. We made a survey on 500 patients and we proved that hematologists are the best but still they miss half of the patient diagnosis, even nowadays. So what you are doing is extremely important because spreading the knowledge, I mean, as I keep saying, once you think about this disease, most of it is done because when the diagnostic process is very straightforward, but you have really to think about the disease from the very beginning. And there are certain, we use mostly biomarkers now, to diagnose this patient in time. So sensitive biomarkers of cardiac involvement, of heart involvement, the name is a strange name, is NT ProBMP. And then a simple marker that is protein in the urine that is not expensive at all. So practically all of our patients have one or both biomarkers abnormal. And if these biomarkers are abnormal, the Hematologists should think about the possibility of the presence of amyloidosis in this patient. Yes, we have worked a lot in the hematological community. Now there is a wide consensus. So if the patient is relatively young and fit, we propose always a stem cell transplantation because the present time can provide a very a long lasting, a long lasting uh, remission with recovery of the organ dysfunction. That is the most important point because the aim of the therapy is just to improve the function of the heart or the kidney in order to recover completely full normal life. And now this is possible in a substantial proportion of patients thanks to the, the, the therapy that we have. It is true that there are not approved therapies for aluminidosis, so we are all using drugs that has been used for myeloma because the clone is the same, it's plasma cell clone. And actually this clone is even more sensitive than the myeloma clone to these drugs. So <clears throat> important drugs are proteasome inhibitors. They have been extremely useful and powerful, so they have really changed the landscape of this disease. And now we have these new antibodies that also promise to further add. So overall we expect that almost 80% of the patients will achieve a response to this drug. So the, the, there is plenty of opportunity now for treating effectively these patients, but again, early diagnosis is key. Well, as you have seen this morning, uh, I think that uh, we, I was so pleased that for the first time in Etage there was an LMA dosis session. So, and with excellent papers actually. So they present a new biomarker, for instance, by the Gray group, that is very important for kidney diagnosis, early kidney diagnosis. But we present a new standard of care that has been just decided through a, a European collaboration. We run a randomized trial, and now we have this combination of proteasome inhibitors, bortezomy, melpha, and dexamethasone that is considered to be extremely effective in this patient population. And then we have this new possibility, the possibility to actually target the amyloid deposit with these antibodies. So we have heard this morning NEO001, and then the other antibody developed by Dr. Alan Solomon. <coughs> Both these antibodies promise to 
accelerate the recovery of the organ dysfunction. So the future will be combined therapy. So we will combine chemotherapy to get rid of the light chain, that is essential. I mean, that is a prerequisite for successful treatment. So first of all, get rid of the toxic species, so get rid of the light chain. But then I believe it's also important to help removing the amyloid deposit, because this, I believe, may accelerate the recovery of the organ dysfunction and improve the rate, as you have seen this morning, with this near the 001, we improve the rate of cardiac response and the renal response. And this is what counts, and in recovery of the organ dysfunction. So the future is combination therapy.